many parts of this country to collect views. We were collecting and collating views for purpose of writing our constitution. Again, a very, very great opportunity. And uh, I, I always thank um, uh, Justice Pauline Yamwea for giving a number of us who are students at that point in time an opportunity to serve in the constitutional meeting process. Mr. Speaker, after my tenure, uh, my term, uh, time at the University of Nairobi, I got an opportunity to uh, do my pupillage with the firm of Muthoga uh, Gaturu uh, Advocates, and thereafter I got a scholarship, a World Bank scholarship, to train uh, young African uh, students, or young uh, Africans actually because focus for Africans on trade and investment negotiation um, and therefore I was sent to University of uh, Pretoria where I graduated Mr. Speaker uh, with Magna Cum Laude and Mr. Speaker graduated from there I went again for an exchange program at the American University Washington College of Law where I did another uh, postgraduate degree on international legal studies. Uh, my time in Washington as a speaker was very uh, interesting. I had exposure of working with the uh, big think, tank, think tanks at that point in time, uh, Woodrow Wilson, uh, Mr. Speaker, among others in, in D.C. I also had an opportunity to work as a lobbyist. Uh, lobbyist lobbying in, in U.S. is a formal uh, trade where lobby firms are allowed to go to parliament and represent their clients in, uh, in legal positions on, on different issues. And so I had a chance to appear before Ways and Means Committee of Congress at a young age uh, with that kind of exposure that I got. Mr. Speaker, when I left the U.S., interestingly, if you see my certificate for my second master's degree, although I left the university in 2007, I graduated in 2017. Um, uh, interestingly, Mr. Speaker, you know I was a hustler. So when I went there, I had to pay my school fees, and I was unable to raise $10,000 uh, to pay school fees then, uh, which then later I procrastinated until I paid and went back to complete and graduate uh, when I was a senator here in the 2017. Mr. Speaker, uh, when I left the American University to come back to my country, there were so many people who were uh, enticing me with opportunities out of the country. But I knew my place uh, and my dream was to participate in the task of nation building. And uh, when I came here, I was employed at the uh, Catholic University of East Africa assistant lecturer, Mr. Speaker, where I taught, among others, air and space law, which is again relevant to the, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, the docket that I'm being uh, nominated for. Thereafter, Mr. Speaker, I also went, I moved from Catholic University to Moy University, where again I taught uh, various courses, Mr. Speaker. I am lucky to have taught uh, many, a number of students, some of whom are in the National Assembly now, and, and, and some are my colleagues in the Senate. And uh, Mr. Speaker, um, uh, that was a great opportunity for me because apart from just teaching, I, I enjoy the time I spend uh, mentoring other students, both in matters uh, leadership but also in their uh, career progression. Um, so speaker, another very milestone, uh, a very notable milestone in my life to, for me is that as we pursued or uh, to pass the 2010 constitution, Mr. Speaker, I had a chance to participate in many uh, initiatives that led to uh, civic education. I was a firm supporter of the new constitution. Uh, after the 2010 constitution was passed, the former Prime Minister, uh, Raila Odinga, um, nominated me to sit in the task force on devolved government. I served in that uh, task force under, again, uh, a very uh, distinguished uh, citizen of this country, under Musali Mudavadi. And uh, that, Mr. Speaker, must have been my most uh, notable contribution on matters devolution because we came up with six laws on matters devolved governance. 